This local sports report brought to you by Joe Romeo of Romeo Circle Realty. Contact Joe for all your real estate needs at 519-546-7979 or at www.romeocircle.com. The Waterloo Warriors men's basketball team was still buzzing at practice on Monday, 48 hours after a buzzer beater from Colin Connors. The second year guard hit a three-pointer on the final play of the fourth quarter, giving the Warriors a 67-65 victory over Algoma on Saturday night. My mom texted me afterwards because uh, I hit a game winner when I was in about sixth grade, and she was like, "It was just like that." <laughs> so uh, that was pretty great. But I'm just, I'm just really glad the team had the foresight to uh, be ready for that double team because he had, he's had such a big weekend. He knew that they're going to come for him, and I called for it, and he found me, and I didn't really have time to think about it. I thought it was a bit too deep for where I would normally shoot it, and but I had to put it up, and I was just happy it went in. Well, for myself personally, I didn't think I shot the ball that well that great this year, and I think that's definitely going to be a confidence builder for me going forward, especially where Coach was able to trust me in the last five minutes. It was a huge shot, and um, we were just all like really excited. Um, emotions were high. Uh, it was just like a really amazing moment. Like I know talking to my parents, like they said watching it like live, it was just like crazy, and just I'm just really happy it happened. Hand off. The Warriors have won a season-high three straight games and they are alone in third place in the West Division standings. Waterloo returns to action on Wednesday night, hosting the McMaster Marauders at the Pack. Tip-off is at 8 o'clock. Well, I think lately we're just playing with a lot more energy in general, especially like defensively. We're really like getting after teams and then offensively, I think we're just pushing the pace and trying to move the ball around and get the best shot possible. Well, McMaster, uh, they're really a fast team. They play at a really fast pace and take a lot of three-point shots, so we'll definitely have to defend the three well. Uh, they're not too tall, so we definitely like look to exploit our matchup inside. And I think uh, if we play hard and really match their intensity to start, I think we'll have a good chance.